as it turns out, you have a lot of spare brain. Before your stroke, you probably weren't using 20% of your brain anyway. If you have had frontal lobe damage or know somebody that has had it, it's really important to understand that they've lost a part of their thinking equipment and there are gonna be inadequacies. Possibly lifelong inadequacies if you don't get on top of it quite early. Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about frontal lobe damage, um, something I've dealt with myself and I've dealt with a lot of people that have had it. I wanted to mention Phineas Gage, he's one of neuroscientists' most famous um, patients. Gage was a railway worker in the 1850s when a steel rod went through his brain. Specifically um, passed under his left eye and through his frontal lobe. His doctor Harlow made very important observations that have pioneered brain injury research. If you're studying first year psychology, you've most likely been made aware of Gage and um, his effect on psychology. Gage was able to walk away after his injury after a few minutes, but um, his injuries were profound and really well documented. Post ABI, Gage was described as impatient, uncontrollable, ill-tempered, violent, impulsive, and he'd, in, he'd abandon ideas really quickly um, for, a, for an easier idea. Does that sound familiar? Specifically the social and inhibitory deficits that he had. I think that if Gage walked into A&E today, um, the observations would be pretty similar. Um, stroke and brain injury aren't going anywhere at all and they're actually really predictable what's gonna happen. Here's a picture of my brain showing the brain injury um, probably two or three days after the stroke when brain injury becomes much. By looking at the MRI, you can decide for yourself how medial or lateral my um, injury is. Is it prefrontal? If it's not prefrontal, why do I have these problems? How to fix the frontal lobe injury? My ischemic um, clot lodged in the middle cerebral artery which supplies motor function, your motor strip and also frontal lobe. I'm still thinking through how to fix frontal lobe damage because of course I'm biased by having one myself. But I've really found that it's helpful to if you have a thought and don't say it, recognise that, um, that's a win, that's progress. If you do have frontal lobe damage, you may be at the, um, the maturity level of an 18 month old or a two year old. It's not what you want to hear but it's bloody well what you need to hear. So to fix that, if you can listen to yourself talk as if you're listening to somebody else. If you have something to say that's the slightest bit inappropriate, you'll know. Um, by all means, leave it out of the conversation. Thanks for listening, so guys. Let me know what you think. Um, email me at straightrecoveryvideo at gmail.com. If you'd like some individual help or if you'd like me to discuss any other topics. Thanks, guys. See you next time.